my ID ghosted me after taking my money, here's what happened. We actually collected the keys last year in January. The whole thing took about a year, but that was partly due to poor planning as well because we only started to find an ID after we collected the keys. So the ID planning was two months-ish around there and then the renovation was freaking five months. The ID that we initially hired, uh, basically after they came up with the design, they said that they couldn't fulfill the timeline. I was like, what the hell? What do you mean you can't meet the timeline? Uh, this is something that we committed to already, man. right? So at this point, we had paid them 6 k They refunded us 2000 So I still paid them $4,000 just for the design. I had to go and find a different project manager to go and build the house using the existing design. This is where I actually came across Home Easy. So Home Easy is a uh, renovation supplier platform which links up people with direct suppliers and contractors. Okay, so for example, if you want to do like cabinet or whatever, or you need like a painter, uh, you can actually go through Home Easy's portal. They'll match you with these suppliers. Lah. So one good thing about Home Easy's platform is this escrow platform. You actually pay the sum to Home Easy and they hold it, but they don't release it to the suppliers until you agree that everything is done. This is a story of how I renovated my BTO and see for yourself whether this entire renovation project is worth 69,000 or not, which I paid, uh, I paid. Uh. Let's go have a tour. Okay, so the first thing we are talking about is this new fancy uh, smart lock. The brand is called Genesis. It's actually a Singapore brand, so that's quite interesting. This is the latest model they have. It's called the P800. A lot of HDB owners are now going for like a handleless style, so there's no handle. HDBs mostly have a gate and a main door, right? Uh, this system manages to sync it together. So once you open one side or any side, right, they both will open. Basically, once you unlock here, so the gate will also unlock auto. So you can also track like who comes in through the app. So even if I'm not here and you have a guest that comes to your house, you can actually use the app and through Wi-Fi open the lock remotely. This is the walkway in. Uh, this is new, so this is constructed. Right, so originally the plan doesn't have this uh, wall here. La. We actually made it into a shoe cabinet. My wife has a lot of shoes, so we had to make a lot of shoe cabinets. Oh, but let me show you one very top defect. If I open the door, like that, bam! <laughs> the idea behind this house, a lot of it is like a lot of hidden, uh, concealed things. So there's no handles in the house actually. And this one is a tic tac system. So you push it and yes, the bomb shelter is here. A lot of people forget to plan for umbrellas. So we have a little umbrella corner here. We also added this smart door stopper. So there's no door stop anywhere, but you can just hold it and it will just stay there. And when you close, so there's a soft close as well. So you won't slam the door. This will just slowly like close back. This is the house. The idea was basically space maximization and to make it look as spacious as possible. Uh, a lot of the color tones are quite light, so we also use like elements of wood. The idea was to try to blend a pop of color with uh, white and wood. You can see there's two different vibes between the living room and the kitchen. The kitchen is a bit more like fun. The tiles uh, start from the doorway, la, so it's all connected. I think one thing we were trying to do with the kitchen was to match the colors. So the tiles on the floor matches the laminate color of the kitchen. La. Okay, so this is like our dry pantry. Uh, this is a hydro flux water dispenser. So there's an ice function as well, and also it depends water cold water, room temperature water, and warm water. Wine fridge from Vintech, like a little small one. So we also built in the uh, microwave. It's a microwave from Teka. Then this is the built-in oven. Teka is not a very popular brand, uh, but like the design is actually quite nice. Okay, moving in to the rest of the kitchen. This is a cooking hood, also from Teka. Then like, here we have an induction panel, and uh, this is a gas one. 
you want to do serious cooking, you use the gas stove. Uh, if not, like induction is like for basic stuff. Oh, so this top is compact plus. It's not like wood wood. So it's like a composite uh, material. It's a very durable top. So you can put like hot stuff on it. The temperature tolerance is very high, so it's, it won't like get destroyed. Wet stuff that you put on top also, like it won't stain. You can actually request for them to use the leftover material. So when they cut the holes, you know, for like the sink. Uh, you can actually ask them to use the leftover material to make a coaster. There's a fee though, I think it's 10 bucks to make it into a coaster. However, this is a secret thing. No one tells you about it. I didn't even know it could be done. Hence, I missed out on that and I got a not the same material one. So this is from Arova. This is the Supreme Light. I think what you want to find, right, is probably the fingerprint or smudge resistant type of material. You will definitely touch it lah, right, with your fingers and it's going to leave a stain but uh, this material is more resistant to it and you can see your little smudge will like start to disappear normally when you build your kitchen right the dead corner is this L corner you can actually find this kind of magic corner drawer okay so this uh, magic corner is from KKPL this is a spice rack basket but I'm using it for the Asian purpose of sauces this dish dryer thing is from KKPL as well. All the uh, hinges, including this soft close hinge, is from Arova, who also does the laminates. Here we actually installed the movable power track. Sounds cool in theory, but it's actually not very useful. Uh, like, it's quite cool. You can, wow, you can shift it around however, you know. Not very practical. Uh. If you cook a lot, it is useful to get a fan. Honestly, a door would be a better choice for heavy cooking. Um, however, it makes your space look smaller. What we did was to get a fan so that it will blow away the cooking fumes and the smoke. Lah. This is a smart rubbish bin from Tabao and this is 40 litres. If you are the one throwing out trash, you learn how to appreciate a bigger rubbish bin. And you don't want to keep like, wow, every day you go out like twice. Oh yeah, so HDB does have this drying rack, but it's a manual one. So we removed that and then we got this uh, auto one. Let's go on to the uh, living room area. Yes. Oh, where's the fridge indeed? Did y'all find it? The fridge is here. So this is a concealed fridge. Dun. It's a very European style for some reason. Like when I was in Europe, like all the fridges are concealed. Right? So it looks even more seamless. That's the drinks fridge. And this is the food fridge. Uh, there's another fridge here. So here is the dining area. Okay, so here actually is uh, originally one bedroom, uh, but we cut off half the walls. So we turned that into a study room. Here's a dining table from Taobao. One thing I regret, right, is buying gloss material. So there's a lot of fingerprint marks on glossy tops. And this is a flute door thing. Uh, basically, you close one door, the other door will also close. Uh. We want to use glass so that there is the um, perception of space. Uh, right? So there's more light that comes through, it makes it look bigger. So even with the doors closed, there is a bit of light, so it still looks quite uh, big. The mistake I did was to do this door for the toilet as well, which is a bad idea. You can see the person inside taking off their pants. We solved the issue with another solution. I'll, I'll show you all later. Okay, so this is actually an Omni desk. You can press and adjust the height. So if you're sick of like sitting down to work, you can stand and work. I actually didn't know Omni desk made chairs. This is called the Embrace Pro. There's this mesh seat as well. It's more cooling versus the gaming chairs. You don't want to have your shoulders like too high, right? So you want it like low enough. So like the good thing is so this can be adjusted. Basically every part of your body is like supported. So you can just work like that, like in the good posture. So one thing I added was a corner fan. I was debating whether to add an aircon here, but it's a bit stupid lah, right? It's such a small room then like, this is the uh, aircon right here. So we have only one aircon in the living room and dining room. The theory is that you put here, then it will blow, it can blow here and can blow to the living room as well. So this the uh, Dyson air cool, eh, air tower. Can't remember what's the, the model lah. So it's very loud and you can't even feel the... Dude, I have to stand like here. <laughs> this is the highest already. This is the max. It's not doing any of the jobs well. So here's the living room. This is my recliner sofa. Boop, boop. 
Okay, so far technically can buy from Taobao also, uh, but yeah, didn't really want to risk it. Like some people say, you don't like the recliner feature is just fun to have. I like to watch TV, like like much are lying down, right? so that's why this this works for me. So there's a little hole for my cup here. Pretty much we can hide all the remotes here, lah. Like this keeps. Boop. This is Evo Rich Hearth herringbone flooring. One of the most fire resistant. It's termite proof, slip proof, waterproof, uh, but also because this is a clip on thing, right? So when one panel spoils uh, or gets damaged or whatever, you can actually change just like one panel. Yeah, so you don't have to like tear up your entire floor. Okay, so basically all these lights, I actually bought it from Shopee, I think. If you buy lights from the physical light shops in Singapore, right? The price is at least double. So if you go to a light shop also, right, a lot of times like when they plan out your your lighting, or even if your ID does it right, they always over spec your lights on. Like I don't know why, they just want it to look like some freaking dentist hospital thing. Uh yeah, but you can reduce a good 20 to 30 percent of whatever lights they give you. The paint brand that we use was called uh, Benjamin Moore. I think the only paint brand that can claim that they have zero VOC. So VOC is some like toxic emission. Actually, a lot of paints have like a very, very small, very small, lah, but not zero, right? But Benjamin Moore is zero. This color is called White Dove. So this is our TV wall. Basically, this is a textured pin from Wall Hub. Uh, this is called the Strato pin. So the TV console is actually cheaper if you go and buy, just buy one. Uh, but I think one thing we wanted was to make it floating so there's no leaks. So if you need to vacuum or you have a robo vacuum or whatever, like it, it can go through under. And this is the uh, Prism today. So this is the AL65, the 2023 version, which is 60 hertz. 60 hertz limits the frame rates of certain videos. I'm not watching very complicated video, I'm just watching like HD on Netflix. Uh, but fast moving scenes, right, there will be a bit of uh, screen tearing. Like there's some blur lah. Yeah, so 60 hertz TV. Uh... Uh, but the colors and all is nice lah. Resolution, sharpness, all pretty nice. These are window blinds from Opulence Curtains. We went with single pulley system. There's only these two strings lah, that's it. Okay, so it's just to make it as um, seamless as possible. Okay, the downside to this uh, is it's neater, but like when you want to pull up the thing, uh, it's like you need to raise the flagpole like that. So this is basically our display wall. At this point, it's all displaying alcohol. Oh yeah, one of the things that we did for the house is to implement a lot of curves just to make it look softer. So here is like a curved edge. If you see the kitchen also, the edge there is a curve. Okay, so if you put two heavy things right, the shelf actually starts to tilt down a little bit. It's a design limitation. You can actually put like stuff here lah, like support or whatever, or like put one whole bar here to support the entire structure. Uh, but then that will spoil the look lah. We wanted like this open concept. Okay, so we go to the toilet. So we initially did the flute, the glass flute thing. It's a bit too too transparent already. Then I was like asking the um, the guy like, what the hell? Why is it so transparent? But basically, we added a frosted sticker behind. You can see you can't really see what I'm doing inside, lah, right? Okay, can you see what I was doing? Not really, right? Like shadow, lah. But you know, I was pointing the middle finger, right? Yeah. Oh, did <laughs> still can see my middle finger? Okay. Anyway, so this is the first toilet. Towels, yeah, so this is also from Hafari. This is like a Moroccan concept. Okay, tap, sink, uh, toilet bowl, the shower thing. So all these are from uh, Lucky Kun. Uh, so again, the concept is create storage. So here it's also can open one. Okay, so you can put more stuff. Here we did a half glass just to separate like the wet area uh, from the dry area. You want to make your toilet look like hotel style, right? You ask your plumber or the toweler to make the use the towel to make the cover as well. So this one is the uh, tornado swirling system. It comes out in a tornado style, so you can wash off your poop uh, better than like if it just comes down from the side. Uh, this is a smart water heater. So this is also from Lucky Kun. So you can see like a panel here. Okay, one thing I cock up uh, is the this panel should have installed it a lot lower. There's a water heater power switch. So if you just turn it off, like here is fine. Yeah, but if you for whatever reason need to adjust the temperature, yeah, then it might be a bit more troublesome. So there's a timer system on this uh, water heater. So you can set it like 
turn on only from 9 to 12 or something. Okay, moving on to the master bedroom. Okay, so here's another the master bedroom toilet. I uh, bought this uh, vanity cabinet from Taobao. Uh, and this one's a anti fog. So like when you shower, right, then your water vapor will fog up the mirror. Like you can turn it on, then you'll like heat up, then you'll clear the thing. Uh, and lastly, this also tells you the um, the time. I don't know why, but my, my wife like gets lost in the toilet. Like she much go into a different time zone. Uh, so having a clock here lets her know that she cannot take so long to shower. But one thing we did was to make this hole. Like, basically, it's like a hole in the door so you can put your put your shampoo stuff. And we did a door. This one, we had it a bit more space uh, so we could do a door here. Okay, so this is uh, the bedroom. Let's see this is this is why the renovation takes like five months. They were fixing the wardrobe, then they kinda the feature wall. So this is freaking annoying. Uh, this is a sensor light. What you wanna do right is to plan out your light switches properly. So now this turns on uh, this light. However, here also got a light switch, so it's like a bit redundant lah. Like I want to turn on this light, I need to turn this on, and then like. Yeah, there's like two steps. Uh, so you should plan it out. Uh, this is the wise wardrobe. So it's a tic-tac system. Uh, so it's like, yeah, you push and then like it opens. So there's no handles. But here's another miscalculation on our part. So you see this, open. Uh, a, a common problem right, is actually the wardrobe space is not enough. Here we have one wardrobe, whole wardrobe is for my wife. So I don't get to touch this. So we actually cut this hole out. So here's another wardrobe. So this wall right is actually part of the other bedroom wall. So we actually hacked that wall. We built a wardrobe here. Basically, we did curtains. Uh, this is from Opulence Curtains again. Uh, very good quality. This is a king size bed from Wusa. So Wusa is also a Singapore based company. Uh, so yeah, the mattress is this uh, line called the Maisa. So far, wow, this is damn good. Like this is the I don't want to go to work. I think mean, that's explains why I'm always late. The mattress is made in Belgium and then yeah, they bring it over. It's actually suitable for side sleepers, like soft enough to sleep on the side. Okay, Wusa actually has this adjustable bed frame uh, where you can actually elevate the bed. Uh, but however, I had to be the uh, mature adult and go for storage again. So we actually got the storage bed frame. So you can actually pull up the thing. So there's a hydraulic system. You pull it up. And yeah, basically it's quite messy here. Very satisfied with the Maisa mattress. This one, big shout out for Maisa. So basically after the renovation, right, the idea and the contractors will do one round of cleanup, but it's honestly not very thorough. I think it's always good to get a post renovation cleaning service as well, cause there's really damn lot of dust and wood and whatever. The one that I used was called Sure Clean. They were quite professional. Like, there's a team of, I think it was like three or four uh, ladies that came. It takes about like three, four hours and they clean like every edge of your house. It saves you a lot more time than trying to clean every part uh, by yourself. Get a post renovations uh, cleaning service. Yeah, I recommend sure clean. Okay, so that's it for the house tour. I hope you guys learned something. If you're going to plan to renovate your house, uh, number one is find a good trustworthy uh, ID. I don't know why, but the Singapore industry for ID, a lot of IDs, like half my friends tell me they would not recommend their ID. So find someone that you trust. Uh, this is something that I also struggled with. Uh, number two is also plan out the house in extreme detail as you can. Like where are you gonna put the uh, washing machine? Where are you gonna put your rubbish bin? Uh, which light controls where? The problem is once you build it already and you want to make modifications, you have to tear down something to put the other thing. So it's very, very long process. I, I think spend on things that are worth spending on. La. Don't uh, jump on things. The last advice is to really, you need to check everything as much as possible. I didn't know what to check for. What, like I'm not a freaking uh, designer, right? Most people doing the project, right, will just want to do as bare minimum as possible. La. I don't see them really to going like the extra mile. So this is on you as the owner to go and check. If not, like get a defect checker. I've heard stories of like cabinet doors just like collapsing, just dropping by itself. A defect checker was a good decision. And that's it for this house tour. And um, see you guys next time. Hey Google. Turn off living room aircon. Connect is unavailable right now.
So usually, very honestly, usually the app works, but today it just chose not to work.